which we will take. So these two concepts, one is the musical instrument and the community which is attached to play this musical instrument. This is a, a starting point for anthropology of music. My lecture has been structured in three aspects. One is how music is understood in anthropology. The second part is how ethnomusicology has analyzed the whole component of music and its process. And the third aspect of my lecture deals with the new perspectives that have emerged today, what we call the postmodern or post postmodern era of the globalized world. The first analytical process of music is to understand both human and non-human species in these lines, like on sound, pitch, timbre, and the loudness. In these lines, anthropologists are also interested to see what is the social use of these sounds in a highly structured communicative systems. Whether music has any social use in the social interaction. Anthropologists were also interested to see the indigenous varieties or the indigenous ways of classifying different aspects of music. And they made a very uh, need understanding of whether music, speech and the dance are divisible. Some scholars they think that these three things are cannot be divisible. They are inextricably intertwined with these three things, music, speech and the dance. So at that level anthropologists are struck. And another analytical two point they took is that in the indigenous discourse of folk, tribal, rural music, whether they are different from the mainstream musical processes and how people attach different human behavior, meaning and expression to these varieties.